practice makes perfect may be a cliché, but a new study confirms it is more than just a saying. Researcher analyzed fMRI brain scans of professional ballet dancers to understand the long-term effects of learning. They found that practicing and performing at seven weeks led to high activity in areas of the brain when visualizing the dance being learned, compared to the first week of rehearsals. Studies investigating the neuroplastic changes associated with learning and practicing motor tasks have shown that practicing such tasks results in an increase in neural activation in several specific brain regions, according to the study by York University published in the journal PLOS1. However, studies comparing experts and non-experts suggest that experts employ less neuronal activation than non-experts when performing a familiar motor task. The experiment was created to determine the long-term changes in neural networks linked to learning a new dance in expert ballet dancers over the period of 34 weeks. We wanted to study how the brain gets activated with long-term rehearsal of complex dance motor sequences, said Professor Joseph de Souza, who studies and supports people with Parkinson's disease. The study outcome will help with understanding motor learning and developing effective treatments to rehabilitate the damaged or diseased brain. During the study, 11 dancers, ages 19 to 50 years old, were asked to visualize dance movements while they underwent fMRI scanning for different times over the 34 weeks. Our aim was to find out the long-term impact of the cortical changes that occur as one goes from learning a motor sequence to becoming an expert at it, said co-author Rachel Barr, who was a ballet dancer herself, a recent press release. Our results also suggest that understanding the neural underpinnings of complex motor tasks such as learning a new dance can be an effective model to study motor learning in the real world. The scans measured blood oxygen level depended, bold, in the participants. The first scan was performed after four rehearsals of the dance and the second a week later, after nine rehearsals. The third was conducted seven weeks after the first day of practice, which the dancers had performed the piece on stage 16 times. And the fourth took place during the 34th week, when the dance had been performed on stage a total of 36 times. While the scanning was being done, dancers were given two tasks, a music visualization task cued by music and a motor localizer task cued by a visual stimulus, wrote researchers. The dancers were told to listen to music and visualize themselves dancing the steps they had learned during rehearsals. The results showed that initial learning and performance at seven weeks led to increase in activation in cortical regions during visualization of the dance being learned when compared to the first week. However, at 34 weeks, it showed reduced activation in comparison to week 7. We found that in the learning process, our brain function makes an inverted U learning pattern from a slow pace at the start, accelerating to a peak at the midpoint, before returning to the original pace, once we have mastered the task, says de Souza. An everyday example would be learning to drive a manual car, where you constantly have to think about shifting the gears until you master it and then do it instinctively. Researchers explained that these findings do not necessarily mean that the cortical regions are no longer greatly involved. Neurons within these regions may have become more efficient, changed their connection weights, or chucked together their efficiency, the study explains. The team believes these findings indicate that the timing of learning real-world sensorimotor tasks can be tracked from cortical and subcortical regions using fMRI in professionals performing unique routines created to flow with music.